Hi everybody and welcome to Meatless Monday on a Wednesday. So today we're going to be making cashew chicken sweet and sour stir fry. So I have my oil heating up in a pan and I'm going to be putting vegetables. I've got yellow squash, zucchini, I've got red bell pepper, green bell pepper chopped up, I've got cauliflower that was left over from that big giant cauliflower we got last week at the 99 cent store and I have broccoli, I have broccoli in here I've got red onions, I've got carrots I have celery what else do I have in there? I have green onions whatever vegetables I could find I just got out of my drawer and cut them all up so I've got the chicken over here heating up in a pan I've got my sweet and sour sauce heating up in a pan. So for the chicken, I've used about a half a bag of the Gardein teriyaki strips, and I had three of these left in the bag, and we're just going to go ahead and use those up. A budget tip that Mama taught me, when it, you use a whole bag of anything, whether it be chicken or beef or meatballs or anything, just because it says there's three servings on there, you don't have to use the whole bag. If you only use half of it, then you can stretch it and you can have the other half for another meal. You don't have to put that much meat or non-meat in it. You can use vegetables instead. And it goes, so you can get two meals out of that and you can get two meals out of that. You can sometimes get three or four if you don't use it all. And so for the sweet and sour sauce, I just did three-fourths cup of sugar, only I didn't use quite that much because I felt like that was just too much. Oh dear, oh dear, this is getting hot, so I got to get this vegetables going. Hold on. So I will come back after I get this cooled off for a minute. Okay, that was close. So yeah, so that was really hot. I had to turn it down, put the vegetables in. I'm going to turn it back up now. So, I have all those, so I'm going to put all the vegetables in. Now, they're going to be very high in the pan, but when they cook, they're going to shrink way down. So, we're going to saute that. I have leftover white rice from who knows when, a couple days ago, and leftover cilantro lime brown rice from a few days ago. So, I'm going to heat those up and combine those together, and that's going to be our rice for tonight. So this is cooking up nicely, the sweet and sour sauce. Okay, back to the sweet and sour sauce. So this is what I used. Not quite a three-fourths cup of sugar, more like two-thirds. Third cup of vinegar, two-thirds cup of water, a fourth a cup of soy sauce. I didn't have any regular soy sauce, so I'm going to use tamari soy sauce. It's okay. It'll work. And one tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay, on the ketchup... I thought it was two tablespoons, and I don't really measure the ketchup. I just squirt it in there, so I did two squirts of ketchup. So it may be more than one tablespoon, but I think it'll be just fine. So we will let this cook, and I'll show you. Oh, okay. Another thing I'm going to put in it is about a fourth of a cup of cashews that I chopped up, very rough chopped. So yeah, so this is called sweet and sour cashew chicken stir fry. And I'll come back and show you when it gets further along. Okay, so yeah, so let the vegetables cook about 10 minutes till they get nice and tender. You don't want them overcooked and mushy because you just don't. I mean, I like my vegetables cooked pretty tender, but they're going to keep cooking, so don't cook them too long. Got the rice heating up. It's heating up nicely. The chicken is browned up, so I'm going to add the chicken to the vegetables, and I'm going to add some of the sweet and sour sauce. So you want to cook the sweet and sour sauce about 5 to 10 minutes until it thickens up. And it'll thicken up nicely because of the cornstarch. And see, it's nice and thick now. So I'm going to put a little bit of the sweet and sour sauce in there. Probably about 
three of these spoonfuls. And then we'll also have some, some leftover sweet and sour sauce for dipping our spring rolls in. I'm also making spring rolls to go with it. So I will show you everything when it's all plated up. Also, after I put the chicken in, I'm gonna put in the chopped cashews in it. It just gives it a really nice flavor. Half of these are salted and the other half are raw. You can use any combination. You can use raw or roasted and salted. I just used what I had, which was just a little bit of salted and a little bit of raw. So it tastes really good. You don't need any to put any more salt in it because you've got a little bit of salt in your cashews and you've got the soy sauce in your sweet and sour sauce. And you've got salt in that stuff. So yeah. So I'll show it to you when it's all plated up. Thank you. One final look though before I plate it up. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so I put the chicken in it. I put the cashews in it. I put three big spoonfuls of the sweet and sour sauce. Oh, the fragrance, the aroma is like heaven. The rice is cooking up good. So the spring rolls are still in the oven. I'm going to put a lid on it and let it sit until they're done and put a lid on the rice and let it sit until the spring rolls are done. And then I will show it to you when it's all plated up. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to ramble a little bit more. Um... My husband and my daughter are out for a walk and they're not back yet. So I'm just letting it wait with the lid on it, but it still looks good. It still smells fabulous. I've got a lid on the rice and that smells fabulous. But another thing that I wanted to tell you about this is you could do this with tofu. You could do it with real chicken, you could do it with beef, you could do it with shrimp, you could do it with pork, you could do any kind of meat or non-meat. Um, I've done it with tofu before, it's yummy, it's delicious. I love tofu. To me, tofu is like chicken. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, so it just absorbs, absorbs the flavor of other things. So in a stir fry, it's absolutely fabulous. Oh good, they're home. So I will show you when it's all plated up. All right, so here it is, the sweet and sour cashew chicken stir fry. We've got white rice and cilantro lime brown rice and spring rolls. And we have chopsticks to pretend we're at a Chinese restaurant. I'm not sure what we're drinking, possibly red wine, so I've got our cups ready. And that's what is for dinner tonight, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching Meatless Monday on a Wednesday.